1983, the Orioles won it all. Yaz and Johnny Bench said their farewells. But who were the best players that year? Let's find out. Let's begin at first base. Eddie Murray improved on his power totals from a year ago and even hit two in the deciding game of Baltimore's World Series clincher. Second base, Sweet Lou Whitaker of the Detroit Tigers. Batted over 300 and a superb fielder up the middle. Shortstop is the position where we find the American League MVP for the second straight year. This time it's Cal Ripken Jr. Last season he was the top rookie. This season he's tops in hits and runs. Oh yeah, and he played every game. Third base could go to Wade Boggs of Boston, but it's Mike Schmidt, still keeping the title at the hot corner. The combination of a 40 home run power bat plus a golden glove wins out. In the outfield, we have the repeat winner of the NL MVP, Dale Murphy. Atlanta's premier performer had an OPS of 933 and drove in 121 runs. The other two each had over 30 homers and 110 RBIs. Montreal's Hawk Andre Dawson and the Red Sox Jim Rice. Rice led all of baseball in runs driven in to go along with an AL best 39 bombs. The catcher is Detroit's Lance Parrish, not only the AL Gold Glove recipient, but the producer of 27 home runs and 114 RBIs. The DH spot is where we'll slide in Boggs, hard to overlook a league leading 361 batting average and 444 on base percentage, plus the first of many 200 plus hit seasons. The starting pitchers begin with John Denny, who had a career year for the NL champion Phillies and led his position in war. Fellow Cy Young winner Lamar Hoyt joins him. Hoyt led the White Sox to a division title with a 1.024 whip. The Reds' Mario Soto had a 140 ERA plus and 242 Ks. Jack Morris of the Tigers had an AL best 232 strikeouts and pitched nearly 300 innings. The final spot in the rotation goes to Los Angeles Dodgers right-hander Bob Welch with a 2.65 earned run average. In the bullpen, Dan Quisenberry had a spectacular season for the Kansas City Royals, a whip under one and 45 saves. Alongside him is a lefty in Jesse Orozco of the New York Mets. He allowed just 18 earned runs and three home runs in 110 innings. And that's the 1983 All-MLB team. Let me know who you would choose and stay tuned for more in this series.